Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good night, everyone. My name is Novi Putri Wahyuni, and today I want to explain about history of BRI. First, before I start, let me introduce myself. My name is Novi Putri Wahyuni, and I'm from TUPK2, and my ID college number is 96-20-233. Profile of BRI or maybe PT Barakit Indonesia Persero TBK. The bank was established by Raden Bay Area Wirjat Maja on December 16, 1895 in Purwokerto, Central Java. And the website is https colon slash slash bri.co.id and the phone number is 14017 or maybe 150017. In 1895, one of the largest state-owned banks in Indonesia, Bank Rakyat Indonesia, or BRI, was established on December 16, 1895 by Raden Bay Arya Wirjat Maja in Purwokerto, Central Java under the name the Purwokerto Hall and Spar Bank there in Lunch of the North. In 1946, Bank BRI or Bank Rakyat Indonesia become the first state-owned bank in Indonesia as stipulated in Article 1 of Government Regulation Number no. 1 of 1946 following the Independence Day of the Republic of Indonesia. Bank BRI's activities were temporarily just during the Revol Revolutionary War in 1948. The bank resumed its operation after the Renfield Agreement in 1949, changing its name to Bank Rakyat Indonesia Sarikat. In 1960, through government regulation in lieu of law or Perpu No. 41 of 1960, Bank Koperasi Tani dan Nelayan or BKTN was established with the merger of BRI. Bank Tani Nelayan and, ne and Netherlands Hanschmatsch or at NHM in accordance with presidential degree or pen press number no. seven of 1965, the BTKN was integrated into Bank Indonesia under the name Bank Indonesia Urusan Koperasi Tani dan Nelayan. After one month, presidential degree number no. 17 of 1965 concerning the establishment of a unit bank under the name Bank Negara Indonesia was published. Under the new regulation, Bank Indonesia Urusan Koperasi, Tani dan Nelayan, or former BKTN, were integrated into Bank Negara Indonesia Unit 2 Rural Sector and NHM was converted into Bank Negara Indonesia Unit 2 Export-Import Sector or EXIM. And in 1992, pursuant to Baking Law No. 7 of 1992 and Government Regulation No. 21 of 1992, Barry officially became a limited liability company on August 1, 1992. At the time, the government controlled 100% of their its ownership. In 2003, the government decided to sell 30% of the bank's shares and made the bank a public company under the official name PT Bank Rakyat Indonesia or Persero TBK, which it still uses today. I think that's it, my explanation about history of BRI. If I have wrong pronunciation, I'm very sorry. Thank you so much for everyone who looked this. And I'm Novia Patriwahini. Goodbye.